President, sir, I see the land of Arab burning with the fires of injustice and cruelty. People battling over nothing. People falling even deeper into the darkness of ignorance. People following the path which leads nowhere except destruction. People sliced over ordinary things. Girls buried alive at the time of birth. In short, every possible evil was a trademark of that society. Worthy sir, a man appears among them as a savior, shines like a star, removes all the darknesses of their hearts and hearts, teaches them, guides them, trains them and transforms them from uncontrolled barbarians into civilized human beings. And he is... He is none other than the greatest individual of all the time, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. My Lord, to describe the character of Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the given span of time is hurting and task for everyone like me, because every act, every word, every moment of his life need millions of thought to discuss. His matchless qualities of tolerance when a lady threw garbage upon him. His justice while denying a recommendation and saying, If my own daughter Fatima would have done the same, I would have dislocated her hand as well. His courage while saying, If you put sun on my right hand and moon on the left, I would not still give up Islam. In short, whatever he said, whatever he did is something simply matchless. <laughs> Worthy President, we must be proud that we are born as Muslims, as followers and lovers of the Prophet whom my Lord loved the most, respected the most, the Prophet whom his enemies called Sadiq and Amin, the Prophet whom the Lincoln University gave the title of most influential personality of the world, the Prophet who put a seal on series of prophets and left such a great sunnah and crown for us that there remain no need for the further prophets. Ladies and gentlemen, today there is no point of doubt that the current situations of our country and in fact the entire world is not encouraging. But if we can't follow the principles of Quran and Sunnah of Holy Prophet wasallam, we can transform this very bad situations into an era worth living. So, let's make a pledge from here on, our every act, every action, every step, every word will be according to the teachings and preachings of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Pledge to be tolerant when someone teases us, hates us. Pledge to be true when we are to make a commitment. Pledge to be dead honest. When a problem is discussed with us by someone, pledge to be loving when we are to take care of someone, pledge to be just when we are to make a decision, and pledge worthy sir to be self serving when we are to arrange an event. Pledge, dear fellows, pledge. Dear fellows, today I feel it my duty to inspire you all to follow the path of rightness, virtue and truth because betterment of all of us rest in it. I would end my speech with the following words. I stand in the opacity of darkness with hope around. I hold the candle, you have the fire, do it, do it, thank you.